Hey y'all, it's your girl Juliana, aka Life is Juliana, and your girl is back with another video. Yes, honey, today I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know I finally decided to take down the Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm one of those type of a person that put up their tree almost Christmas and then wait until almost Valentine's Day to take the Christmas tree down. But that is just me, y'all. Um, oh, it's a it's like it's like a massive job to take the tree down. But I finally decided to take the tree down. Yes. Um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and just um take off the Christmas ornaments and uh, put them away um in my storage unit. And as well as I am going to kind of clean up just a little bit y'all i'm not going to really change anything i'm not buying anything listen i have already bought everything out in the stores this past christmas so i did not buy anything i'm just basically just taking down my my christmas tree and storing them away and then i am going to kind of clean up the fireplace and just use things that i already have in the home um clean up the coffee table straighten out the um chairs and just kind of fluff up my pillows i'm not even changing any pillows y'all i'm just fluffing up and sweeping up in a light mop and um that should cover that but i didn't buy anything um it's the same color that i use for christmas which is the pink um and that's about it y'all so um, just kind of sit back and relax and I will come back and touch base with you guys during the video. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess the
Now that I've packed away everything from the tree and from the fireplace, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a nice wipe. And I'm using my all-purpose cleaner that I purchased in, um, on a, where did I buy this? I did buy this in um, Walmart, y'all. Alright, so I'm just kind of wiping this down just a little bit from the dust from Christmas time, yeah. And then I'm just going to go in and just decor this as mellow as I can. But um, uh, one thing I do know that I do do on my fireplace is because my TV is sitting like that. And I do have those cords that didn't go directly through the wall. Um, I always have to decor the fireplace where I'm like camouflage in those cards because y'all I do not like those cards okay so I have to read really it court where it's not visible as much as possible and then I also have to make sure that the little small box that um connects to the internet and the tv the cable let's just say that is really showy it's, it's like visible so that way the tv will be able to um work with the remote control but I did use things that I already had in the home um these candle holders are from uh burlington and things that i found in the thrift store like this one right here um and um, simple things one at the end that's things that i found in um burlington as well and i use like these pink roses very light pink roses that i found in the dollar tree just to kind of hide any extra card that might be showing um in like anywhere around that area because I do not like to see it y'all so it's very irritating so I just like I said tried my best to kind of camouflage anything that is um hiding or showing rather okay that's what I do Alright y'all, and so next what I'm going to do is just give it a nice little sweep. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just going to sweep anything that um, came through from the Christmas tree being there. Um, and then just give it a nice simple little mop. And I noticed that you guys are asking me um, where did I find my cleaning mop. Um, I, all I know with this mop, y'all, is that my husband bought it for me maybe two years ago and I never used it because I'm like, what mom's gonna buy my mop for? But yeah, he did buy this, um, for me and I have to say, 
after waiting two years to use it, I'm I'm really happy that I finally decided to do so because this mop is it is everything, y'all. When I tell you the thing is 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 super great, um, it is super great. I will definitely um show you guys a video on it. I know he got it on Amazon. I don't know the link because it was a gift, right? But yeah, I love it. Um, and like I stated before, y'all, I'm not going to be changing any thing around I'm just basically just kind of um, straighten things out and just kind of putting things into the, in the places now what I decided to do was go ahead and put this um, vase here by the window um, I did find that vase in a DD's discount store and the floors in that vase is from the Dollar Tree and the stand that I put underneath is a stand that I also find on from DD's discount store just to give it a little extra height and then the cushion that I'm putting in the single seater chair, that was from Hobby Lobby's. Now over here in the sofa, I'm not changing anything out either over here. I'm just going to use that same throw that I use around Christmas time and just give it a nice little fluff. But I did kind of change it around to how I had it for Christmas. And then I'm using these same cushions that I've, I've used um, for Christmas and just give it a nice little fluff. I didn't have to um, vacuum the chairs because I did that last week uh, Sunday. Um, so all I had to do was just um, fluff up my cushions and just arrange them in the same um, position that I've had it before. And um, that was it. <laughs> On this side of the sofa my husband spends a lot of time that is this little footstool right there but I did decide to go ahead and put a tray on there with a little bit of flowers roses just for just for just for because I know he's gonna move it anyways and um, I usually keep it covered because sometimes he rests his food and stuff and it does spill a lot and so I keep it covered let's use a gold throw over it um, here I am just going to wipe down my coffee table and um, put a little bit of decor on there. Now, as far as my coffee table is, I am using this vase here that I did make a couple of, um, maybe two years, I'll say, when I first moved here. Maybe over two years I made this vase. And then these floors are from Roses, as well as some is from the Dollar Tree. And so that is what I'm using here. Um, as far as my arrangement is for this phase just simple roses here and there are two different shades of pink as you guys can most likely tell here now in addition to that I wanted to um, give this uh, coffee table a little bit more life so I decided to use this book that I thrifted in Goodwill and then this little flower set here is one that I purchased in Roses. I believe I paid $2.50 for that about uh, two or three weeks ago um, and this is a must have on the coffee table. I have to have something that my husband could put the remote control in and it's glasses y'all, okay? RSC will not know where the remotes are. And then I did put these candles, um, candle stands here that I purchased in Goodwill. It was at my fireplace for Christmas, but now it's on the coffee table. And um, that completes the, the coffee table. And this, my darlings, is the finish look all done. So, okay, my darlings, we are all done here. Like I said before, I did not go out shopping to do this um, family room kind of refreshener. Um, just simple things that I already had for Christmas. I'm not going to change this color. This color is going to be for a while. I am going to be changing out. Not changing out. I am going to be taking down the Christmas things. I haven't taken that down yet for my... Um, 
formal living, my dining, or my kitchen. Listen, this is the first one that I'm taking Christmas things down, okay? So I will definitely be showing you guys that. And I will be bringing some uh, Christmas, not Christmas, what the hell am I talking about? I'll be bringing you guys some um, Valentine's Day tablescape settings um, idea in pink and um, purple and red. All right, so look out for that. That is coming. But until then, my darling, I hope you did enjoy this particular video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you all for the love and support that you show here on the channel on a daily. I appreciate it. Thumbs up the videos, guys, on your way out. And I will see you in my next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.